Yeah, I can I can hear you. Uh... Was that an email? I can't tell. It sounds about the same on my end. Okay, fair enough. Then I did everything I could. Sounds good. Sounds good. Welcome, welcome back, Earthbounders. We are here once again with the last race of the night. We have Andy Perfect versus Rain TV. Yes, we do. I believe 23rd and 16th on the leaderboards in the speed run for this category. Both having a total PB over or under. Definitely gonna have something good tonight. Hopefully. Yeah, looking forward to a to a real good race. I've I've seen both of these runners uh, race. I'm I'm excited. I'm really excited to see how this goes. Lantro with the raid. Thank you for the raid. Welcome raiders. And a shout out for Lantro. Looks like uh, we're getting into it. As usual, not too much going on in the first bit, just uh, yep. mostly uh, waiting for the meteor to drop. Yup. We know that meteorite sound all too well. While he's still a little low in mic volume, um, would it would it be better if I went down? Do you need me to go down again so we can balance it out? I'll uh, doing my best to try and. Is this any better? Test, 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 test. There you go. Good to hear. Good to hear. Or see, read. This part, uh, it's really just about getting the most optimal movement and don't not getting move. stuck on things. Just movement until the knock. Well, actually, a bit after the knock, but semantics. Looks like there's a prediction going on in chat. Go ahead and send your channel points on whoever you believe will be the winner of this race.
prediction should still be there. Um, might might need to refresh if it's not popping up for you. Uh, does it say how long it has left? Um, it does. Doesn't say a number, but it's uh, it's still got over half the time left. Yeah, just about half. Maybe a little more, yeah. Am I am I the loud one? Am I the extra loud, extra loud one? I hope it's not me now. <laughs> Ox was super loud. Okay, uh, if you do, if I need to turn down, just just let me know. I can I can do that. And the RNG has started. This point wow. Is Sorry, I just saw like three things stuck in like one spot on Andy's side. It was it was a uh, kind of neat. One of each, if I Weird. remember right. Crow, snake, and dog. Okay, good. We got the got the audio fixed and everything. Good to read. Love to hear it. Great. Rain being the first at picky. And Andy catching up. Gotta have at least plus 40 decibels on the air horn. At minimum. now so you don't get stolen by crows. And you also taking the bread roll. You got no bread roll skips this time. Best to play it safe. One twelve is on the higher side of a hits, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Oh wow, another another over a hundred and rains out of Starman. That was quick. Nice and quick, yes. Starman's uh Starman's pretty much all RNG. Not much you can do there, but hope Starman doesn't waste too much time and hope Buzz Buzz comes through with the attack. Definitely can't rely on Picky for that. Or Pokey. Though I have had Picky get the kill once or twice. Always funny. I love it when that happens. I'm like, go Picky. Larna's able to take out Buzzbuzz Buzz with a single hit, does that mean that she's stronger than a Starman? Well, see, that's what I always thought, too. Like, Larna might be the most OP enemy in Earthbound. If she was to fight you. So just, just don't mess with Larna. 
Wardna means business. And dawn breaks for rain. Off to the Onet Zoo. Buzz Buzz is vulnerable to smash attacks. Nice no spawns for rain. Oh, I was I was curious. And Dawn breaking for Andy now. <laughs> Lardna smashed the API. She's too powerful. Too powerful for your stat check. <laughs> Zoo not as kind to Andy, but still pretty good nonetheless. Yeah, if she was an enemy, we'd we'd never we'd never beat Earthbound. It'd be impossible. Now I'm just getting the image in my head of a ROM hack with Lardin as the final boss. You know, I kind of want to make this happen. It's gotta have it's gotta have like a mashup of like the Pokey's house theme and Pokey means business. Like, I, I immediately, when I said Lardena means business, it started, like, already brewing in my head. <laughs> Be he is not... going to fight Shark, or Frank. Shark, leader of the Franks. Ah, uh, yes, the first boss of Bounder. <laughs> Ooh, that was, that was a little scary. surviving the yes man fight with 1 HP also scary Larda hits like like a multi bottle rocket. Frankie Stein two is down on Rain's side. Next hit should be the one for Andy on Frank. Yep. Albeit it was a smash, but.
Rain off to talk to Mr. Baldhead Perkle. About that shack key. Or excuse me, it's Mayor Baldhead Perkle. I could just imagine him saying that. That's Mayor Baldhead Perkle to you. <laughs> See, that's what I always thought it stood for. That literally, me as a kid reading B H Perkle. That's that's the first thing I always went to. Obviously, that's the name that kids make fun of him with. <laughs> Rain buying up burgers for the fight against Titanic Ant. Gotta fill that little yellow backpack up. Could you imagine stuffing like 10 burgers in your backpack and then like you go to open it up and it just smells like burger? Just burger paradise? The worst part is that he sometimes he sleeps with them in there. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, maybe maybe that's that's not gonna smell so good. Then again, he also takes them out of the trash, so. <laughs> Ness certainly is a gremlin. He must have like a stomach of steel and a very good immune system. Like he's probably immune to ninety percent of toxins at this point. Just from exposure. Especially after trudging around in, in like the four side sewers. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any blur place worse than that. Well, literal swamp. I guess Belch's factory could be pretty gross. Oh, with piles of, like, barf everywhere. Thank 
It's uh, interesting to see the slugs on floor two like that. It's something I don't see very often. But there usually, does seem... Usually it's just uh, mostly antoids that spawn on the second floor, is it? Or am I thinking the third floor? I think both floors are, are pretty risky for antoids, but that seems to be a pretty consistent uh, slug spawner that Rain was using there. Andy's doing the tried and true mouse stuck method. Antoid spawn in the open on floors two and three. Yeah, that's that's what I thought too. Um, you just gotta be careful not to run into the little two packs of ants. You have to judge it and make sure that it's gonna be a four pack of slugs or something. Which can be really hard to do, especially on floor three. Floor three is scary. Because it'll look like it's just part of the big six pack of slugs, but it's actually a surprise antoid. And that's what you don't want to see here. So Unless Rainbow. you're really brave. You're fighting against the antoids that heal. I think the only enemies in this place that can heal. Yeah. They can heal and they can call for help, which makes them double annoying. And I believe they're just strong enough to withstand a single hit before level 8. Yep. Usually. some Sometimes if your offense is good, I've, I've seen nests like bash it out, but I think that requires a crit. Prime spot to leave once he's at the right level. It didn't give him the six packs, so he's looking for another four pack, I think. Oh, well, there's the six pack. Unless I miscounted. Rain just hit level eight. Maybe it was Rain that was fighting the four pack. I don't know, watching watching two slug grinds. I can barely keep track of my own slug grind when I'm doing it. Watching two slug grinds is a whole it's like juggling. Trying trying to keep track of the, the count. Definitely need that level count. Andy getting to level 8. Hauling it to uh, Titanic Ant for both of them. on the ant for rain. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, Andy was checking the status, I believe, uh, to make sure that he can just do this, walk right into the ants and uh, one-shot them. Because if Ness's offense is high enough, you can do that. If not, then you have to actually fight. Which, again, could be risky. Definitely quicker than respawning. Or re uh, reloading. Yeah, true. Cookie abandoned. That always made me sad, too. I'm like, but can I just eat the cookie? Do I have to abandon the cookie? 6 HP of free healing we could use. Rain is through Ant. Love to see it. 
and Andy going through Ant just about the same time? Love to see it. Love to see him neck and neck. Yeah, and love to see both ants go down. Always. <laughs> Heck that ant. out of ant cave both runners going toward fighting the cops the final gauntlet to get out of onet does ant cave have an actual name um i usually just hear people call it like giant step or ant cave fair enough sometimes i call it the ant hill i like that name i'm taking it <laughs> Aunt Hell. Yeah, that's valid. <laughs> Aunt Hell guarded by the ant hole. Alien Ant Farm, that's a great split for that. smash from that cop. He's doing okay, though. Managed to get that life back up. Wow, that's a sink. They're exactly tied, yeah. The text is even, like, perfectly synced. The only difference is their timers. Yeah, and the and the window flavor. We got one plane, one mint. And Andy being the first to take strong. But Frames only by later. a couple seconds. Frames later, yes. Yeah, both runners out of Onet and under 30 at, like, almost exactly the same time. This is a race, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
love to see it. Couldn't ask for any better match to have as my first commentator. Oh hey, your first time on comms? Nice. I'm, I'm kind of new to it myself. I, I just started doing it recently. I wasn't I wasn't like sure if I was going to and then like uh, there was there was one race where I um, there was no commentators and I was like oh heck well let me, let me give it a shot I'll hop in here and do the thing it's pretty fun sounds like fun yeah exactly what I thought Happy Happy Village for later. Thank you for the shout out, Taco. Yeah, thank you. And shout out to Lord Taco as well for restreaming. Getting that nice sync set up for all y'all. Thank you for the heads up slug, by the way. Was just fiddling with my mic. Is it still quiet? I think I... I think I should have fixed my mic. That should have fixed my mic. That sounds better on my end. There we go. Sorry about that. It was just fiddling with my mic from a moment ago. Just put it back to where it was at the peak. There's the statue for Andy. And the statue for Rain as well. Going back through Fart Cave, uh, it's pretty clean that time for Andy. And for Rain as well. Sometimes even going back through there, you can run into stuff. I'm not sure what the spawn rates in there are, but I don't know, having totally empty, totally empty Bart Cave on both sides seems very unlikely. Unless I'm just wrong and they don't spawn on the way back, but I swear I've been caught on the way back, so I, I think they do. That makes both of them having the pencil eraser now. Rain buying some skippies. I missed if Andy bought bought any or not. I, I know that's... I think he didn't. 
Well, sometimes we see different um, between runners. Some people like the skippies there, some people don't. Depends on how spicy you want to try and be in PRV, really. Personally, I'm a Skippy fan. Personally, I have yet to use the, to actually use them well in PRV. I've gotten some pretty cool stuff to happen, but uh, I've also gotten caught out being risky. So it's a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, you gotta be careful. Voglerology, the study of Vogler. It's first grade. <laughs> that is the perfect emoji for this situation or emote. I always say emoji. Yeah, Peen gets it. <laughs> oh, Andy getting a uh, territorial oak. It is not letting him leave. Yeah, tree fight. Tree fight is out of, out of those options. Tree is the best. Fair enough. They're really not too bad as long as you're not fighting them. Most of the time you can get a clean run from them because they're slow. Unless you get super unlucky, then you just get stuck there. Like, imagine not being able to outrun a tree. That's gotta feel bad. I've been there, though. Like... <laughs> that's what somebody said in my chat, though. Like, imagine not being able to outrun a tree, and I'm like, yeah, that... That's a good point. <laughs> Poor Ness. Yeah, this race is so tight. All right, Bo survived Shack fight. It I swear, like... it's... I was just gonna Every... say, it's scary to watch. Every time you look at it, every other screen, it looks like they get a little bit closer. Yeah. <laughs> No kidding. Egg. 
Janet being not so kind to in oh to either of them actually. Actually, Janet might have just tied them up again. Janet coming in with the sink. Janet equalizer. And call for help on Andy's side. Forcing him to use that rock and Ooh, double call for help on Rain's side. About a three. Narrowly Ooh. avoiding an insane cultist D in that group. Thousand XP. Painter. Rain joining seconds later. Ooh, a nice smash from Andy. Rain has one rock in at his disposal. Andy having a safety pipe up. Unless Carpenter can use Magnet. Carpenter can't use Magnet, can he? I don't think Magnet. Rain just got the smash, though. Taking down Carpenter. No, I don't I don't think Carpenter has Magnet. He has Shield, though. That's That one's annoying. If you're, um... Trying to hit him with the Rockin'. Ah, Mr. Carpenter. Ah, Apple and Enlightenment doesn't show attacks. I think if you do moves... Let me see. There we go. Yep, no... Magnet. Yeah, I think when he does his Psy turn, he has a chance to use either Shield or Life Up. Well, murder of crows on Andy's screen. Crow's uh, catching up to rain there. Dropping anything that could help you in battle to get the quicker death warp. Going for the trusty mole. Wow, really good mole on Rain's side. That mole wasn't just playing rough.
and be getting the death warp as well. Mole took a little longer, but Mole did their job. And you really can't, can't blame it for sizing up what they're doing? You know, I, I can't. I can't really blame them at all. I, I'd probably be sizing up the situation a little bit, too. I mean, you're being confronted with someone five times your height. And they're just standing there, too. Like, they're not even attacking you. They're just, they're, they're just standing there menacingly. One's just covering her face, and the other's just looking intently at this plastic card of his. <laughs> I mean, if I was a mole and somebody was trying to introduce me to capitalism, I'd probably, uh... I, I, I don't know. I, I'd probably be doing all sorts of weird, funky things. <laughs> I don't know how I would react to that. <laughs> Maybe being absent-minded. Being absent-minded is code for nonchalantly memorizing the number. <laughs> Attention, Earthbound fans! Son, what are these charges to Mole Hub on my credit card? We got our runaway five. Looks like we're going to have a double runaway five. <laughs> oh, it's actually happening. Okay, that was incredible. I, I had to like unmute my audio just, just to hear that. Stay tuned for Double Tessie. Oh, true. So I'm not completely familiar with the whole left bus, right bus thing. Does it spawn in a different direction sometimes? You can enter the bus from either side. 
Uh, generally, you want to go either left or right because if you go down, uh, you get the photo photo guy trigger. Ah. Same with going into the theater. Uh, some people enter left and some people enter right. There's a, a lot of uh, contention about which bus is best bus. I think all bus is good bus. Right is shorter unless you put the photo trigger. I always do right bus. I, I'm like right theater, right bus. Turbo left bus. I'm not. Sh I'm still unsure what a turbo left bus is. Ooh, scary flies. Snakes can spawn in three. That's the first time I think I've ever seen that. At least in a boogie run, I've never seen that happen. Oh, oh, left bus by way of the top floor of the department store. I see. learning new strats in here. I don't think we've seen a bike percent yet this year, no. We've seen some uh, pretty good tent glitches, but no bike percent yet. Some good clown vomit, if I remember. Oh, yeah. I still love the ex explanation for the bad key machine that I've seen from Keen Train. Before, I thought that the bad key machine was this elaborate lock picking device, like a 
lock picking gun sort of. Then Pean Train comes in saying it's just a crowbar. I love it. Yeah, I like that too. That's perfect. Jeff coming in with the crowbar. Just putting that into more perspective, needing to telepathically communicate with someone miles and miles north, needing them to use a UFO-like flying saucer to go all the way to you just to bring a crowbar. That's fair, Jeff. Jeff's a nerd. Oh, back attack on rain. Andy opted not to fight the dog. He had one, um, but despawned it. He's just gonna send it to those protoplasms. Oh yeah, it, it, it is almost that time. Get him ready. I have mine. Tessie time. There's that majestic purple, please, you soar. And double Tessie. Double Tessie, let's go. Still a super, super close race if you get to see uh, two Tessies on screen at the same time. We love to see it. And thank you all so much for the sea of Tessies. I love when I can scroll up and it's just Tessie everywhere. Proto called and called again, oh, and it was only one hit away, too. Nice run. Oh, ducks capable? No. Duck's not gonna walk okay. right. Ooh.
And he got the croissant. Nice evade. Bubble monkey cooperating too. Oh, oh. Ooh. Narrowly. That was scary. Both runners getting the final protoplasm skip. This is close. Yeah, and it's been like this the whole game, too. This is wild, wild. Nice start of the roof with rain. And I said it earlier, every time you look at each screen, they, it looks like they get just a bit closer. It's like Andy's a little bit far ahead as uh, Rain got stuck in a fight with a mouse and a slug. Bubble, Bubble monkey. monkey. With a smash. Dang, Bubble Monkey. Monkey Rage. Not much you can do when there's that many things on the screen, unfortunately. You got like six slugs like that, it's hard to stutter. Game gets really laggy. And he's got a clean mushroom spawn right out the gate. Burst out of Pond Cave. Getting a level up with Jeff could make it the difference in the end. Yeah, could be less level up text for Boogie. Seen it happen once before. Yeah, that was a nice cave boy dodge. The when they spawn in that particular like area, sometimes it's hard cuz you've got like less than a character's width of difference between, you know, you and that cave boy. Ray opting out of the bottle rocket and making it out of pond cave. It's going to come down to, to Boogie. Yeah, this race has been just so close this whole time. All the cutscenes have been matched up pretty much. 
even this one it's like andy's a little bit ahead on it but you never know it, it comes down to boogie and it's been it's been anyone's game from the get-go it has Starman Jr. just about together, beat Frank just about together, Ant, Car Painter. Like you said, it's probably going to be gummed down to, Brook to Boogie. He's got the the trash bear. There's another snake in three. That's the second one I've seen so far. Were they both on Andy's screen or was the other one on Rain's? I think they were both on Andy's screen. Andy entering Boogie. Five hundred. Boogie tent is down. GG Andy. Rain entering Boogie just before Andy finishes. A one shot from oh. Jeff. And oh, 107 flat ending with for Andy. GG, both runners. Yeah, GG to Rain as well. GG to both runners. Very, very close race. Like, I, I think that's one of the closest I've seen. Definitely. Definitely closest I've seen. And it wasn't even one of those ones where it was like back and forth the whole way. It was just synced up almost the whole time. Winters was kind of the decider, I think. Likely that spawn that uh pawn cave. It was likely pawn cave. Yeah, yeah, the like one or two fights in pawn cave because pawn cave was synced, and then like yeah, I think there was like the second room or something like that. Rain took a fight, yeah, and uh, Annie managed to get ahead. That trick or trick kid. Unfortunately, those level ups didn't end end up mattering in the end. But still, the whole race, like yes, great runs, both runners, incredible. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have asked, like I said, couldn't have asked for a better first commentator run. Yeah, thanks for hopping on and and doing comms with me. It's been uh, it's been fun. Thank you for having me, too. Yeah, of course. Always, always like company on comms. It's nice to nice to be able to bounce back and forth. 
And thank you, Taco, for the restream. Absolutely. Thank you, Taco. Thank you all, everyone, even in the chat. Always nice hanging out with uh, with the Earthbounders, doing Earthbound things. Well, I think that concludes today. Um, stick around, though, um, for the next few weeks because we have lots of stuff going. Our bracket just started, so we're going to have races probably near every day. The next few days seem to be filled up pretty well. Definitely tomorrow as well, I believe. Oh, yeah. And I know Thursday because I'm racing Thursday. How about I actually grab a solid time for the next one? That would be... Doo -doo -doo. Oh, because it's past midnight. Uh, tomorrow at 6.30. Yep, so be here tomorrow at 6.30 Eastern. Is that is that p.m. or a.m.? P.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Tune in tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Eastern for Hunter RNG versus Iconic. It's going to be another good one. Oh, and it looks like a three uh, match at eight after that. You know, daylight time, that makes sense as to why when I was, I was trying to do it another way via hammer time it wasn't working I was getting like an hour off and I don't think I was accounting for the fact that there was daylight fair enough when did that end even probably should just look that up looks like we're gonna be raiding out soon to Kamkatsu